Hello, and I'm your host, Justin Ponarelli, back again from the dead. I don't know, something like that, right? <laughs> Probably feels like that way, doesn't it? Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> so I'm back. So, Interstellar Pilot, today, no packs, number 11, as I play as the mercenary Curzon. Of the Phantom Corporation. Let's do this thing. Taking its time, huh? Is it working? What do you guys think? Oh, it's working. What do you know? Well, look at that beautiful ship. I mean, it's not that beautiful. I mean, I think Hornet's more sleek, but Orion's not too shabby. You know, it's, it takes getting used to. Looks like we're all loaded with weaponry and everything. Lizards are charging. There goes the power supply for our uh, cloak. That's nice. Oh, let's see here. Where do we leave off? Do we have any uh, missions? No messages. No missions. Plenty of money. Let's see, what do we have for a military base? Yeah, guys, I think I decided I want a military base before anything else. Not bad. 38,000? Plenty. That's great. That's perfect. And again, because the theme is no packs, we're going to act and play as if we do not have access to the um, expansion packs. You know, the capital ships pack, or even the... Um, the pack with the, uh, the, the the Thunder class, right? So that's the whole point, in case you guys are just joining me for the first time and haven't seen me do this do these before. This is basically a mini-series of me playing a storyline of um, this game. <laughs> Sorry, brain fart. Anyway, there you go. Phantom Corporation, Curzon. Check out our, our properties real quick. Yep, that's it. Just the two ships. No big deal. We're okay. I've been making money anyway by blowing stuff up, so no biggie. We're gonna go make some more money. Hopefully, um, figure out where our enemy happens to be hi hanging out. Maybe... Let's take a look here. Uh, maybe some bounties? Okay. A lot of good guys wanted by my enemies, so that's not cool. This might be an instance of there's not a lot of bounties to track down because, you know, why would there be, right? There's a talent collective, but that's only like 5k, I don't know. Yeah, I just overshot my target. Yeah, that's okay, that's fine, no big deal. Okay, back around we go. We're just parking here for a minute so I can, uh... Pull my nose and stuff and take a look at some stuff here. Yeah, so, uh, guys, I don't do editing, so hey, you know what? Whatever. Let's not be picky, right? <laughs> okay. Chow board. Oh, let's see here. Couriers? I don't know. I don't do that stuff. That's, that's boring. Let's get out of here. Let's take a look at what else there is in this area. Maybe a pod factory? Yeah, we can go to the pod factory. That'll be okay. Actually, I'm probably doing this the dumb way, because I think you can just actually just take a taxi to the different um, facilities, and you can get missions that way. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this the newbie way. Yeah, you don't have to actually manually travel to each place. Once you're docked at an area, you can just take taxis, and as long as you've explored a lot, you can take taxis to almost anywhere you want and take missions manually that way. 
Unless I'm mistaken, well, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll test it right now too, okay? Just gonna quickly dock, test out the theory, and then boom, we'll know, okay? There you go. That's a uh, park. So anyway, job boards. Ooh, so now we can't, so for example, we can't do this, even if we had the money for it, because taking that mission would basically mean that we're playing as if we have an overlord or access to an overlord. We could, oh, no, 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 that's, see that? It's not as if we can't beat an overlord and or a Magnus. That's not the case. But at the same time, that's a little bit dicey. This, however, we can actually we can actually do that, okay. But for right now, let's go ahead and do this just as an example, okay? We can go to the um, refinery, or no? Let's do the brewery. Request job board. See that? Bam! Oh, look at that. We can also do that one too. We can also kill him for 15k. That's cool. You go log, properties, you want to get back in your vessel, just click on them and enter. There you go. Job board, and, um... You, we can blow up him for 20... We can blow up these guys for 27k. The Ares is probably the hardest thing. You know, an Orion's not that big a deal. A flyer and a shuttle, that's just, you know, that's lame. So here we go. Mission accepted. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get at it. As always, guys, turn on your scanner in the corner. I think in the video I have seen this um, yellow dot appear. I went into my uh, settings on my phone, and you can actually turn on this little indicator dot where your where your, where your uh, finger is, right? Click on those bars, click scanner. Uh, click on, on the little ship icon, which is, like, right there. And then you just want to be able to see as far as possible. So that's cool. Although, actually I don't need that. I need to know where my uh, escape route is. There. Put a little toggle point there just because, you know, it would be nice to have it, right? Now that we're close enough, we actually want to be able to see what's going on here. I can't decide though what the fastest vessel would be. Probably the, uh, probably that little fella. I don't know. He's whooping at 32, 33. He's flying too, though. Let's do a camera lock. Okay. Yeah, that's right, boy. Whoa, 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 okay. Hold on. Away from him. Come on. We missed one. Ah, whatever. Too late. That's fine. No biggie. Come on. Come on, give me, leave, come on, dude, leave off. Leave me, leave me alone here. Too early, too early, way too early. No, 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 I was wrong. It's not early. Too, not too early. We're okay. We're okay. Alright, that's fine. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's fine. We're good. Now just... Where'd the big fella go? Well, it's a cloaking area. That's that's why I lost him on my screen here. Okay. So, guys, um, in case you're a little rusty yourselves, or in case you forgot a few things, um, 
it's not a bad strategy to to loot to run from it like, to a. Uh, we're not running. It's it's like a tactical retreat. Because if I had stayed in that battle, I, I'm going to lose eventually. I'm running out of missiles, running out of ECM, taking damage to my shielding. Um, yeah, that was going to be a losing battle if I kept at it. But we're going to go back into it. We just want to re recharge stuff first, reload, that kind of thing. No big deal. And if at the same time we get help from other vessels, that's not a big deal either. You still get the reward, so that's that's the cool thing, okay? You still get the reward, so that's nice. Oh, that, we didn't need all that. That was too much. Oops, oh, whatever. There you go. Wait, what? What, 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 what? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> That's because I don't only, only get 10. I only need 10. Typically. And you want more missiles because, well, that's that's the thing you do, so there you go. Okay, that's cool. All right. Yeah, so they're getting attacked by uh, an ally. That's nice. Uh, not like there's much out there to attack them, so, you know, that's that's not cool. That little fellow's gonna be dead in a couple of seconds. Oh well, that's okay. Come on. Got him? Let's get him. Come on. Big noodle. Get over here. Oh, wonderful. Oops, oh, oh, that's fine. Cool, cool. Not the most interesting fight, I, I understand that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oops, okay. Never mind. Huh. Too, too slow, too slow, too slow. Too slow. I granted lobbing missiles at a, at a target's not really that interesting, but, you know, you don't want to, like, do what I'm about to do right now and just, you know, because you're not going to live <laughs> through it, necessarily. That's cool. Alright, well, that... That worked. Any, uh... Anything nice? No? I'll stop that. Okay. Um, yeah, that was because the... Uh, if you guys noticed, my but the screen was still moving, that was because I had a, the camera lock still on, and I had clicked on a target, the, uh... the scavenger, to see what he was... if he had, like, a bounty on or anything. Sometimes scavengers might have like a bounty on them. It might be fun to knock out a scavenger for quick cash. Five hundred. There you go. Now we're now we're cooking. Look at that. No, I don't need all this. No, 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 no. I don't need all this. Guys, I know you can respond to those and go, but chances are it's not going to be any you know real benefit. So my advice: don't bother. You know. Get there, battle's already done. Maybe you find some scrap, I guess, if that's what you want. That's cool. So, now, in my opinion, it's going to be... Um, let's go get, I think, a base. Not Well, maybe not at the moment, but, you know. We can get a base now. With no problem. So even if it's like... Uh, a little over 400,000 for a, for a nice base. And it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be real, real good. Um, 
maybe just a little bit more money first? What do you guys think? Should we do that? Just a little bit more money. So we go here, right? Job board? No, not not their job. Not, not their job board. Request taxi. Um, was the refinery last time where we found the nice uh, overlord? Oh, we can do that one. Or we can get our, our butt handed to us and uh, take this job. Not, not that I can't beat an Aries and an overlord, but... Well, maybe I can't. It, see, it's easier when there's like two like different types of vessels, like if it's like a larger ship and then a bunch of the smaller, faster vessels. The faster ones kind of charge at you and you can kind of pick those off. Then you go back for the larger vessel. But two larger vessels tend to clump together, making it harder to defeat both of them simultaneously, so that's not a good matchup. This, this however, is a little bit better. But let's try something else, maybe. We can probably do better than that, so... Click 7,000 cash, and eh, it's so-so. See this? That? You know what? Believe it or not, that's actually not a bad matchup. Yeah, guess what we're gonna do? Take out a Magnus. Cool, huh? Alright. I'll need that. Alright, so let's go back to our uh, our base here. Property. Not that one. <laughs> this one. Alright, let's get out of here. Perfect. Come on. Come on, baby. Move. There you go. Alright, so... So, a Hornet. What was it, a Hornet? Oh, well, let's see what we got here. Missions, blah, blah, blah. Uh, which... Okay. <laughs> Never mind, it doesn't, it doesn't tell us what the ships are. I forgot about that. That's okay. There's like a Magnus and other like other smaller vessels that, which are going to be faster, which are going to split off from the main ship, which would ultimately be the, um, the Magnus, right? And despite the fact that a Magnus is heavily armed, it doesn't have any ECM, so there's no quick way for it to defeat my uh, incoming missiles. As long as I keep them coming at them real fast, it's going to be a nice clockwork, really efficient, like really, you know, <laughs> it's going to be a good fight, let's put it that way. So let's see here. All right, oh, let me just do this real quick. I'm going to pause that. Plug this hush puppy into a outlet because we need some power. There we go. Hold on. Trying not to flip the screen on you guys. That'd be no good, huh? There we go. All right. Back to work. I remember this. This, this game gets a little laggy when I plug my charger in. It takes a couple... It takes a little while for, for, for a little while for it to be a little bit less laggy and get back to normal. But it calms down. Okay. So. On my old clunky phone. At this point it's kind of getting old and clunky. Um, but it still works. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> the screen goes nuts. Got a little bit of pocket money. Thanks to the generosity of my, of my father. And maybe we can get a new phone there. So there we go. That's going to be our main target, our first target. Okay. Because he'll probably come flying at us at, like, top speed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's getting close, though. It's okay. What to do? No, no, I messed up. Gosh, good gosh. Okay, we're not too bad. No, we don't mess up too badly. Actually, we don't even mess up at all.
Well, they're gonna mess things up, aren't they? Oh well, whatever. Kind of keep our booty to the enemy here, no big deal, they're just gonna get wrecked. Hey guys, I, I got this. Let me let me take care of things, okay? Let Daddy work. Uh, okay. Yes. No. 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 Where'd the little fellow go? He must have died. Oh no, no, he's still he's still there. Ugh. Okay, never mind. Let's. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, I'm just <laughs> still a little laggy for some reason. Come on. Can I even, oh, can I even, can I even lock on you? Yeah, this, see, this is a bit laggy, ain't it? Ain't it? I'm not sure why. That's weird. All right, we'll have to try to stick with all lasers only because right now we're in close quarters with with uh, allies too. Shoot an ally, it's just it's no good. You don't want to do that. On the plus side, um, all the help I'm gonna get is making my job easier. This isn't too bad, huh? Not too shabby. Um, could be worse. I really feel like I'm just going <laughs> flying drunk almost. Yeah, ah, oh, come on now. This is bad. Come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chance a rocket. All right. Beep, beep, beep from what? I don't even see the missile. Oh, there you are. Probably not a good idea to like a actually argue with the computer and say, where's that missile coming from? Because I don't see a missile. That's not what she want to do. Oh, I'm pretty close to that guy. Let's get away from him. Whoa, 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 come on. Don't do that. Not cool. This is not what we wanted to have happen. I didn't realize the battle was going to be so close. I really kind of messed this up. But on the plus, I'm going to get a lot of help here. And reload, and we'll let the Royal Anne or whatever it is, Anne Royal, huh. just take it up the <clears throat> for a little while, because why not? Because we can. So um, that was not the most fun battle to be in. That had to be no fun, huh? Ooh, banded vessel, huh? That's nice. Let's go to these. Let's go to these first. Well, we don't need to see all this. New shipyard. I don't really care. Distress call again. Don't care. This though. What's this? We'll check later. We don't want to check right now. We'll check later. This guy just stole my cargo. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna win without even. 
fighting them. Well, guys, I'm sorry. That's, that's gonna be that's no that's no fun, huh? It's kind of boring. Not even get to fight them. And I'll still get paid. That's awesome, though. <laughs> All right. So after the fight, we're gonna go ahead and figure out like where to set up base camp. I think the general idea, in my opinion, is just set up where maybe more defense is needed, or actually maybe set up in a place where I can eventually um, set up my own economic presence, basically. Eep, okay. This is really, really bad with the, with the lag here. I'm not sure if it's just that this that this area is pretty full of vessels, and you are like like um, spawned things. I mean, I don't know. Well, on the on the plus side, I guess the the mission has completed itself. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what happens when you take a mission, which is basically um, pull stuff up. And because you have allies on the area, you're going to win. Just, that's it. That's how it works sometimes. You know? Let's see, what do we have for power? Um, 20%? Yeah, I don't know. Stress call, get rid of that. We'll check out this here. Well, holler, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Um, <laughs> Transactions and yeah, no, wait, 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 wait. Where is it? Where'd it go? Uh, missions, mission, mission log. Yeah, let's see, it's gone. It's because my allies took the Magnus down. So that was okay. I'm okay with that. Let's go back to, actually, let's go back inside the base. Um... Uh, go okay let's take a look at our um our uh the big map universe map so the main rocky areas where you can do mining are down there we can go way up there but that's kind of boring it's nice to be near the, the planets places like right there and here right because ultimately that's where all the trade's gonna be going on. But I'm thinking it'd be kind of cool almost to set up my own base down here. Maybe down there, I don't really know. Uh, you know what, let's... Let's just kind of scout down there. Okay. Let's do some scouting. Okay. So right now, what I want, what I want to do right now is I just kind of want to go over this and figure out if I can set up base down in that area. So like there's different things you want to do, right, when you're deciding where to set up your own little base camp area. Um, one, you know, in an area like this, for example, economically, you're, you'll have a lot of competition. There's already a pod factory, there's already a refinery here, for example. Um, there's lots of There's lots of competition here. There's two refineries here, guys. Two. Two or two of them, okay? Two of them. Now, eventually, you might get to the point where you have to compete directly with your allies or your people that you're kind of uh, friendly with. And, um... That might come down to actually attacking other AIs uh, that you're, you're friendly with. Um, so... But in my opinion, one of the first things I prefer to do is set up a base camp, which is probably going to be a military base. 
Now in a case like this, it's true I cannot make a refinery, so let's just get that out of, like, you know, get that out of your head, right? Because it's not going to happen. It's just, it won't happen. Um. Hmm. But we will see what else we can do. At the very least, I want to, you know, scout down here. So might, this might be fun, right? So we'll do that. See what we got. I think there's one pirate faction left on here. At the, yeah, there is. Okay, that's cool. They're, they're really doing okay, though, I think. Now, we came down here to, uh, to scout, though, not to... You know, not to get into a battle for right now. Sector map. Um, so there's the main wormhole. Actually, the only wormhole. There's the main... Only pirate base, the Talon Collective. Um, yep, so we got a refinery here. So we can actually have direct access to supplies out of the refinery. So a brewery and... What is that? A hospital. That's cool. That's fine. We could set up like an arms dealer type shop down here and have a lot of fun. Okay, so... Let's see how they're doing. Target scan. So you can. Okay. I was gonna say, can we actually look inside the hangar? I don't remember. I guess the answer is no. Unless they just don't have them docked. They're probably just hanging outside, cloaked. Well off, evil, blah blah blah. You know, they they got some money left over. They're doing okay. All right. So we are, we're gonna go ahead and set up uh, set up based on here. So. This will be the episode for that. We're going to go about 20 more minutes, guys, and we're going to call it quits, okay? So, 20 more minutes, call it quits. For right now, let's go ahead and get a base going. I'll probably pause during base construction, but I'll at least show you how to how to uh, start the setup process. I've done that before, though, so not a big deal, okay? That's like in another video. Um, Go ahead and find a nice place to buy a base. So if you don't know how to do that, you go to Cargo, or, um, I'm sorry, what did I just do? <laughs> yeah, Log, Cargo Prices, go all, all the way down, past the you know, regular stuff, past the weapons and the scrap. Okay, now we get down to these little barrels here. Those are parts to build bases and stuff, and, and factories and all sorts of stations. We want the military outpost. We want, of course, the cheapest one that we can get our mitts on. And because we just wanted to, um, we don't want to do that manually, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, uncloak and do this. I'm wondering if there's not a place that's... Actually, let's see how close that is. That's actually pretty far away. That's fine, I don't care. We'll do it. We'll do it. It's fine, that's cool. Oh no, I just realized something. I can't get the base. <laughs> Not with this thing. Alright, let's just go back here. That's fine. No big deal. No big deal. Um, so... Yeah. But what we can do is we can go ahead and... I'm going to pause the recording, pause the game, because I have to, uh... I'm going to go ahead and go to the back of my, my ship here and uh, take a wee-wee. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. It's called Immersion, right? Pretend this thing has a bathroom on it, right? Come on, it, it's got to, doesn't it? You think I'm flying around in space without a bathroom? Come on now, think about it. I'm not doing that. Not happening. Yes, so uh, that's much better. Guys, you would not believe 
the 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 uh, the bathroom facilities installed on one of these ships. It's it's great. <laughs> Just okay, guys, I'm come on, come on. It's it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. But seriously. So what's the deal then? What do we have to do here? Okay, let's do this. We're gonna hitch a taxi to a place that hopefully has a main base and a military base. So we need a trade station. This should work. No, wait, hold on. No, there's a, a military base, but it's an enemy base. Let's try this one instead. Yeah, that'll work. Let's go there. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure you can still get a hauler. So let's buy a ship. Double check first, though, right? Gotta, gotta double check. So a hauler A is standard, a hauler H. See, there's no lock icon on it, so you could buy this without the pack. So let's buy and enter. Let's undock. Let's quickly find the nearest uh, military base. And come on, please be closer than. Yeah, that's not. That's not good. Okay, it's kind of far away. Um, yeah, it's over there. Okay. Oh boy. There, that's fine. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and equip this thing with a cloak and dump its weapons, put some lasers on it. Not, nothing, nothing, too, nothing too crazy, okay? We want this thing to be able to defend itself, but, you know, um, its, it's main job is going to be to um, buy us our equipment, okay? Uh, okay, so double checking again though because this did take a lot of money. I can make some of it up, so that's not a big deal. But I can't make a, I can't make all of it up. That's the problem. So, so I've, I'll have about two hundred thousand credits to use. But not all of it, so I don't know. We'll see. Just get rid of all those. You know, we'll try to keep this thing equipped with just the basics. So we don't need this. I don't need that. I don't need... Well, yeah, yeah, no, I don't use mine, so... We want a bit more speed, and let's get some, probably not going to use those, but uh, in case we want to upgrade it later, we'll go ahead and buy one of these. We've got a small cloak, which still leaves us with a deal of money, which is nice. Um, Uh, we can we can we can spend this. It's, that's not a big deal. Okay. That's not too expensive, and maybe a capacitor. Hmm. I want to say we don't need it, but kind of do. I don't know. All right. We got the speed though. We upgraded the power generator. All right, we got a cloak. We got a good engine. We got some lasers. Let's get out of here. Cargo prices. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and head up that uh that base that I want to buy. Right. So here's the parts. Right. Go to your target. Toggle move to. And let's give this guy some orders. Let's actually go to right now. Let's undo that. There. There we go. 
basically set this guy up for non-aggressive mode. Basically, it's going to run and hide, that type of thing, and it's not going to get into fights, which is helpful. So if we leave it on its own, it's going to try to stay out of trouble. Okay, so that's good. In the meantime, we can go back to making money. Hopefully make a little bit more money. And go back to the Avenger here. Let's clean up this mess. Oh, look at this. This is a huge mess. Come on, please, people. I don't need all this, this mess here. I really don't need the mess. Where is it anyway? Caspel? Where is Caspel? Let's see. No, that's... No, not right now. Huh. That's a bit of a drive. I don't want to go that way. Okay, what we will do instead is we'll try to take another uh, uh, mission. Not one of those, though. That's that's no fun. Brewery, maybe? You see, all the people that are drinking, they want, they want to start fights. Look at all this. Destroy, 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 right? All right. So again, we can beat an Overlord, but they're they're going to be, in my opinion, more trouble than a Magnus. Um. That, oh, speaking of which, free money, basically, right? Even better money. Of course, the problem is, you know, <laughs> can I actually make the money without getting destroyed? Okay, well, give it a look here. So, because we have eight minutes left, I think that's plenty of time in my opinion. That, that should be plenty of time for me to get out there, you know, Kick ass, take names, get back, patch up, grab my grab my cargo, set up base camp, and uh, call the day. You know what I'm saying? That that's doable, I think. Let's just get a a point set up to retreat to if we had to. Focus on that one. So he's okay. So the raptor is coming right at me. Yeah, gonna leave me alone, leave me alone. Come on, stop it. Okay, because here's the game plan. Get far away, as far as possible. Avoid those things. Don't get blown up. Don't let her get, let her get too far away, though. Keep her interested. Well, you want to keep her interested. Am I getting help? I, uh... I am. I'm getting help. Gee. Well... Don't get yourself blown up, buddy. That'd be no good, huh? <sighs> no! I did that. Gee. 
No, come on, that's what it's not. That did it. Neat. 20k. Nice. And that scavenger is still in my, or the patroller is still with me, so that's nice. You know, so anyway, guys, the the hard part is if you get into a firefight, right, and you shoot at an enemy vessel or a station with, with missiles, and sometimes the missiles go stray, they accidentally hit another vessel or a friendly whatever, <laughs> and you have to pay money to fix a relationship that you really wanted to keep. You know, that that's no good. So anyway, patch her back up, spend a little bit of my money that I just got to uh, fix this mess. I know, I wasted money on that, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's not a, it's not a lot though, we're okay, I promise. Now, did we, yeah, we're, we're there, we are here, we are here, let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and... um. Go to trade. Let's go ahead and buy the, uh, the base. Want one of them. Just got some money left, so we're not, you know, we're not too bad off. We're not too bad off here. See? We're doing all right. We're, all, we're really doing okay here, guys. We're doing okay. So let's undock. We're going to cloak. And get that map up. We want to go to uh, Celine, I think, right? First. Okay. okay something's just bugging me a little bit here. Someone made a comment on, like, a previous video. They're like, yeah, you know, regarding my, um, how to hijack a Magnus video. Um, they're like, yeah, you know, um, I have a new new strategy for hijacking, you know, overlords. And I'm, like, thinking, okay. I'm thinking, does it does it involve, you know, docking at a station? <laughs> and I'm like, I just told the guy, yeah, it's probably the same as the the procedure for... Uh, hijacking a Magnus, and he's like, "No, it's not," because he he was talking about it about it being a um a merc. He hijacked a merc. Okay, but the point in my mind was, okay, that's cool and all that, buddy. But you know, you gotta realize if hijacking involves going to a station and getting on board the target vessel, it's still technically the same process. But I don't want to make it a big deal, so whatever. It's it's all good. Um, yes, there might be variations of the same basic strategy, but hijacking a, a vessel, it's a glitch that involves getting on board that vessel and making sure the vessel is going to a base of any kind for whatever reason, whether it's they're trading or they need repairs or whatever, okay? Because you paid a merc, had them go and get into a battle with you, had them take a lot of damage, and then now they're running back to where are we going? <laughs> where are we going? You know, it doesn't really matter so much. You know, it really doesn't. Um, the little nonsensical details—it's not a big deal, really. It's not. Okay. So I think the best strategy here is to get to our target area, okay? Start setting up the base. So guys, I'm just going to fly to our area. For now, I'm just going to pause the recording so we have more recording time, okay? And I'll be back. Okay, so while we're in transit, quick tip. We're going right to our area to set up our base, okay, to set up the military base. While we're at it, let's do this. Let's go to Log, Property, let's go to Orders, okay, Fleet Settings, and let's, get yep, that's fine um, for right now, 
Let's go follow me. All right. Now he's not quite set up to protect me yet, but that's okay. We don't we don't need him to. I'm cloaked. He'll be cloaked as well. So he's gonna pop out of his hiding spot. And he'll be cloaked. Okay. And what's gonna happen? All right. See that? Because once I need him to once I need him to go into like defend me mode, we'll set him up to do so. Okay. Can probably scan him. Yep, see? Look at that. He's fully loaded. Nice. Gonna go pause again. Get to our target first. So, first things first. Outside of actually getting into the sector, is you want to pull up the sector map once once you're, you know, once you're there anyway. To kind of determine where do you want to set up the base and why. Okay, the why is the, the, the first question to ask. Why do you want this base in this specific area, okay? And why do you want a base there anyway, okay? So first, we're, we're going to peel off to the right, because as I recall, the, um, the enemy's off to the left, okay? I think what we want to do, pull open this here, sector map, right? Okay. And... There's rocks here. We can try to kind of park around here to guard those this rocky area. Okay, that might be fun, huh? And as long as we had, I think, laser turrets in the right spot, we'd be fine. And as long as no pirate, you know, bases go down or anything, we're okay. So let's go ahead and do turn this way here. You guys see what I'm doing here? Right? We're gonna park yeah, we're gonna park right behind this thing right here. We're gonna park right behind that rock. Okay, hold on. Alright, so once you found the place you want to set up shop at, uh decloak. Or if you're not cloaked, then you're fine anyway, right? Um the nearest thing nearest is, in an as is an asteroid. We got plenty of space to build, so let's go ahead and do ship. Cargo. Remember, it's not eject, it's deploy. Click on your base first, deploy. Okay? At this point, we're just going to kind of... Uh, we're going to decide now where to put the, um, the first turret. Okay? And once again, go to the cargo section of your vessel. Click on your first laser turret, click deploy. Again, just in case you guys don't know, turrets aren't necessary near your bases. You can always uh, just have ships patrolling your, your bases. That's not a big deal too. And I could probably have just got myself a couple of hornets and called it a day. But I prefer to add static defenses that have long range attacks, such as laser fives. With hornets, that makes a good defense in my opinion. And what I ultimately decided to do, okay, is I decided I wanted a position where my base was going to be kind of like on the opposite side of the, the pirates, right? That are way up there, right? Now, on the other hand, if a pirate base despawns or is destroyed, one could pop up behind me, okay? So I would have a weak side, but for right now, despite having not that much money, I can still protect my rear, hopefully in a pinch. In the meantime... Get more money, build up more of a defense in this in this area, and I'll be fine. But typically, pirate bases do not get destroyed by AIs because pirate bases are typically too far away from the main drag, you know. So they're they're not going to die anytime soon. Okay, trust me. So we're good right here. But I also wanted to be close enough to be helpful to these bases, whom I would consider like allies, basically. Especially that refinery, I want I want to be close enough to be kind of helpful and there's also a minimum distance from the wormhole that you have to be by default okay my first target or my sorry my first turret right there see it a little fellow there is gonna be pointed towards it's gonna be pointed in the direction of the wormhole so that anything vicious that comes out of the wormhole towards my base for whatever reason 
will encounter my turret first. As opposed to maybe putting my my first turret where my see that where my uh, Orion is, okay? So my other turret will probably be uh, perpendicular probably somewhere in that position from my first turret. Yeah, it's for me it's like a science, but you know, no big deal. You guys can do whatever you want. I just like to get very specific, okay? And uh, for right now, that's almost done. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pause this puppy. I'm going to send this girl back to a, um, a place to get more turrets. In the meantime, we're almost set up with my first base. So there she goes off to go and get another turret for me. Actually, probably two more turrets. Because um, I want to have leftover money to still do whatever I need to do, right? But at the same time, now I need to be here to defend these bases, being this base being set up. Although probably nothing's going to come in this, come to the area and, and bother it, but that's okay. For right now, um, if anything does come over here, I'll let you guys see me blow it up. In the meantime, look at that. Almost got my first base. Okay, so see you soon. Stand by. Here we go. Base is about to be born. Bingo. Ain't she pretty? Let's take a quick peek at her, huh? Look at that. Ain't she gorgeous? All right. Guys, you gotta do it this way, right? This is the way to do it here. There we go. I dubbed the Phantom HQ. Guys, check this out. I'm gonna get my own equipment now. Look at that. Buy it and sell it at price. And... Yeah, this is the real benefit behind owning um, a, a base, is that you can buy your ships at price, at a low, low price. Okay, and then eventually, basically, um, resell them back to the base at price if you don't need them anymore, okay? So that is pretty cool, all right? So this is our first... Um, turret our first uh thing here <laughs> um now watch this hold on it's gonna target we have already already targeted it so let's go ship orders check this out in case you don't know how to set up a patrol or really call it a, call it a guard okay call it a guard settings get rid of that go to stance check off these two and then while we're at it we'll also set up as the home base and done. Oh, yeah, sorry. And then uh, ship orders. Protect my target. Turn on the camera lock if you want to. Just No, let's not do that. It's kind of dizzifying. And its job is now going to be to sit here in space and protect the base. But since we're signing off... Guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, great. If not, leave a big fat thumbs down. Not that it matters anymore. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> Good gracious. That decision was just so, I don't even know. So messed up. Um, but seriously, though, um, if you have any questions, comments, polite constructive criticism, please go ahead, leave it down below. I'd appreciate it. And um, for 2022, give us freedom because um, I'm not going to live as a slave. That's all I got to say.
Call me paranoid, but that's how I'm feeling. Okay. I hope you enjoyed. If not, that's cool. Watch another video instead. <laughs> Guys, see ya. This is Curzon, signing off for now. Have a good day. Peace.